Hello everyone, this is Ramesh Sabdu from Nozine and today I'm gonna make um, the admin panel integration with PHP. Last time we made an admin panel and today we are gonna integrate it with PHP and MySQL to work with the databases. Um, for that, um, we need uh, a local server. I'm using XAMPP. You can also use VAMP or whatever you want. And let's have a look at what we made last time. So this is what we made last time. and so first uh, let's just get started and first of all I've got to go to localhost slash php my admin um, I'm gonna make a new database I'm gonna name it as furniture I'm gonna make a new table named data you can change number of columns but I'm gonna use four first one's gonna be id f name email sorry, and pass varchar varchar and this can be varchar I'm gonna use 50 as length for them and ID is gonna be other intermediate alright so this is our database database is created now we gotta go to the folder where we made our uh, where we are gonna do our steps for that for XAMPP you gotta go to C and go to XAMPP and then to htdocs name the folder and there you go alright so I've made the connection already uh, this is very easy no. alright so this is a simple PHP where I'm gonna disconnect that uh, where I'm gonna disconnect my website to databases here I've defined four variables database host database user database pass and furniture host is localhost uh, user is root there is no password by default and root is the user by default and I've made the database furniture that's why I've named furniture otherwise if your database is something like data you can use data but mine is furniture so I'm gonna use furniture in this um, it says that uh, this is a variable connection which says that MySQLI connection should be made it and all these uh, all these variables must run and this is for checking connection that if the connection is not connecting and there is something uh, there is some error it should die with an uh, error saying connection fail and what the error is it should display the error so this is how you make connection this is the page we made last time and today we are going to make the page add save as uh, let's go to study I'm gonna name add dot php save as all files let's go php all right so uh, first of all I'm gonna make a simple HTML form I'm not gonna do any CSS or something like that in this because uh, I'm not going to make designs today I'm just gonna make the integration of PHP so I'm gonna say head close the head so I'm gonna say body and close the body alright now I'm gonna say form name input text input type is equal to name is equal to that's all I'm gonna copy paste paste email password name should be text I'm gonna give it a name name or let's say user name is a tag which is kinda identity of this field and the name of this field is user like my name is Ramiz and that, that is my identity so similarly user is the identity of this field user is the name of this field now I'm gonna go to email and I'm gonna name it as mail and pass pass sorry okay pass word and mail alright so
So now the last fields gonna be input type is equal to submit. Name is gonna be submit. Value is gonna be some input. Uh, I'm gonna say action is equal to add that PHP and method is gonna be post. There are two methods post and get. The post one is for security because it won't show the enter data in the URL. All right, now in the head, I'm gonna make first of all, let's check if this is made or not. All right. This is made now. I'm gonna add PHP right here. So PHP. Um, I'm gonna include connection to database. I'm gonna say connection that PHP. Alright. Now I'm gonna make three variables. First one is gonna be name. And I'm gonna say user. So uh, this variable name is gonna take the value of the field user. All right. When the post button is pressed, it's gonna take the value of the field user. Similarly for mail, I'm gonna name as email underscore post mail and this one's gonna be pass I'm gonna make another variable name as SQL. I'm gonna say SQL, and this SQL is actually the query of SQL to interact with database. I'm gonna say insert into the name of your table which we made data. I'm gonna say insert into data the fields of data which was F name email and pass values I'm gonna be name this will put the value of name into f name email into the tables field mail and pass into the tables field pass now I'm gonna say if if submit button is pressed, then you gotta check. I'm gonna just copy and paste the check right here the check is that if the SQL query connection which is in connection which is this one if this query that means if the connection is made and if the SQL query is run is executed then you gotta say data added successfully and if not you gotta say echo something went wrong and this is the end of your PHP form. Now I'm gonna refresh the page and it's gonna it's it's giving me errors that Undefined index user, undefined index mail, undefined index pass, and undefined index summit because I've not placed values and pressed the send info button. So, to clear all these errors or to not to see these errors in the future, I'm gonna say error 
underscore reporting and I'm gonna say zero so it won't report me any error if there is so there it is now let's try there is no data no uh, data here so I'm gonna say remove remove that software one remove the software at nose zoom dot com send info and it says that I added successfully let's refresh alright so data is added here similarly you can delete your data you can update your data you can search and you can do whatever you want for delete let me show you delete right here I'm just gonna say give me the name to delete or let's say ID give ID to delete the user data alright and I'm gonna say I'm gonna remove all these I'm gonna say delete from data where name is equal to so where ID is equal to name and data deleted successfully and let's see if it's working or not it says give ID to delete the user data and we have only one user so I'm gonna say ID number one it says data deleted successfully there it is so similarly you can do update you can do searching and you can do various stuff by making uh, by doing complex uh, SQL queries for search or for being sold items for being sold items there would be a little complex one but for these four steps there is no complexity these are simple like insert into data delete from data update from data where this this and this and search from data where this all right so we made how to delete data and how to add data this is very simple and you can learn it uh, if anything else feel free to comment down and I'm gonna make a website soon and I'm gonna upload all the uh, source codes there till then like subscribe share and 